most significant bit we call MSB and least significant bit we call LSB. So most significant bit and least significant when it comes to uh, you know uh, binary numbers. So how are we going to do this? Uh, let me explain first and then I will demonstrate using an example. So the, again, like in earlier, we will use leftmost uh, non-zero bit with the largest positional channel value is known as most significant bit we call MSB, whereas the rightmost bit with smallest positional value is known as least significant bit. We call it LSB. Right. Okay. So let's uh, start with an example, like in previous case. Uh, here is the example. Um, we can say uh, we'll consider one, 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 one. Uh, that is the same value we have discussed earlier, right? So we we'll need binary. Right. Now let's look at it. So you look at this value, what we are going to find out is what is most significant and what is least significant bit. So you have seven ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So like in uh, decimal, this is base two, the value sign then two to the power. So the positional values are two to the power zero, two to the power one, two to the power two, two to the power three, two to the power four, and two to the power five, two to the power six. If you take the values, so this will be one, this will be two, this will be four, this will be eight, this will be 16, this will be 32, this will be 64. Right. So if you want to find out the value inside this, what you have to do is the same thing. You take each bit, you multiply with the positional value. So that means one into two to the power six plus one into two to the power five plus one into two to the power four plus one into two to the power three plus one into two to the power two plus one into two to the power one plus one into two to the power zero. Right, so which means we already know the value. So this is 64, this is 32, this is 60, this is eight, this is four, then we have two, and then we have one. So 64 plus 32, we have 96, uh, 102, 112, 120, 124, 126, and 127. If you remember that this is the very same answer we got earlier. Right. So the the digit uh, or bit with the, the largest possible value is here. You know that is 64. That means this is the most significant bit. Whereas this will have the least value. That is 1. So this is called least significant bit.
Okay, uh, let's uh, look at the following binary numbers. I need you to uh, con uh, identify the most significant bit and least significant bit. So if you start with the first one, uh, so uh, we have to look at uh, leftmost non-zero digit. So in this particular case, this is the value. So this will be the most significant bit. So the value it represents is one, two, four, eight. So this represents a uh, value weight. And the least significant bit is here. Least significant bit is here, it's zero. Uh, before the binary point, so you can't you know, neglect this zero. So likewise, here's the most significant bit, represents four. And then here we will have zero and one so this is the least significant bit uh, so this one is two to the power minus one which means half 0 0.05 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.25 so likewise this is most significant bit and in this one okay you can neglect this one because there's no value here so the least significant bit should be this So likewise, if you take this, so this contains the highest value, so more significant bit. So that means one, two, four, the two to the power two, that is four, uh, the value of this uh, bit. And here we have to get the zero, least significant bit, because you cannot uh, neglect this one. And in this particular case, 0 0.00110, so the most significant digit is one here, this one, most significant uh, bit is one, and then least significant bit also one, because this zero, you know, does not contain any uh, value. So that means you have to have the least amount of value, that means one. 